Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Janet Perez with The Painted Saguaro coming to you with Paint Couture and their new line of chalk paints to show you how to take a boring dresser and turn it into a piece that you're going to love that will be a conversation piece for years to come. So I started off using some of the yellow pigment from Paint Couture, and I mixed it in with some of the farmhouse linen chalk paint, which is part of their new line of chalk paint. And you guys, if you haven't tried it yet, I highly suggest that you do because it is fabulous chalk paint. So as you can see here, I'm just adding more pigment until I get the yellow that I want. And it's just adding a few drops at a time. Um, when you're utilizing a pigment in your paint colors, you really just want to start out small and, and build it as you go to make sure you don't over pigment your paint to a color that you don't want. So again, I'm just continuously adding the pigment and these pigments are wonderful. You need very little to go a long way. You can see I'm just adding a few drops at a time. And here I think I've got the color pretty much the way I want it. I'll end up adding a little more pigment in a few minutes just because it's not quite as deep of a yellow as I want. So I'm just going to keep adding yellow till it gets to where I want it to be. So I'm starting off with the farmhouse linen and I painted an entire coat over the piece. I wanted a base coat of a white or off-white simply because when you're adding colors over it, the colors tend to be a little more vibrant. So I'm just putting on this yellow and as you can see, it's not quite as bright as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to add a little bit more here in just a minute. And I'm using my handy dandy Mr. Bottle to help move that paint. And the reason I kind of came down in a diagonal swoop is because I want to imagine the light is coming from the left top of this piece and swishing down to the right corner bottom. And that's kind of what you want to do when you're creating a piece like this is sort of imagine how the light's going to hit it. So here I'm introducing another new chalk paint from Paint Couture. It's called Barn Door and it's a really beautiful, vibrant, true red. And I'm just going to keep working it. You know, I'm just getting my base coat on here now. And as I start working these colors together, you'll see that I am creating a really gorgeous sort of soft coral color, which is exactly what I was looking to do. And you just keep working the paint until you love it. Um, so you can see here that that coral color is really coming through. I'm just adding some more red to that right side and working the paint to make sure that I have full coverage as well. So, so far all I'm using is the farmhouse linen tinted with the yellow pigment and barn house door red. So there you can see I added more yellow to uh, my paint because I really wanted a more vibrant yellow. So I added maybe another half a teaspoon of the pigment to get this deep, deep yellow, which I'm really pleased with. And you can see the colors are starting to blend really pretty. Again, a little bit of the mist from the Mr. Bottle and it's doing its magic.
So I just keep working down and I continue to blend until I'm happy with it. And as you can see, I've gone about halfway down the piece with these two colors. And now I'm going to introduce Abyss, which is, I want to say it's almost like a worn denim blue. It's sort of a gray blue. Um, and it's really beautiful. Um, so I start introducing this into the piece. And when you're blending complete opposite colors, like yellow and blue, I didn't want it to turn into a green right there because I'm going to add green later. So I use a heavy hand with the mister bottle to make sure that the colors don't run together, that the yellow runs down over the blue, if that makes sense. So first I just lay the blue down and then I start working on the blending portion of it. So I'm just gonna continue to work these three colors now that I've introduced onto this piece until I get the blending where I want it to be. And this just requires a lot of time and a light hand. I'm barely touching the paint when I get to that blended area. I'm lightly, lightly dragging And with the mister, um, it really helps you manipulate the paint much better. Water is your friend when it comes to blending chalk paint. Or any paint, really. But primarily chalk paint. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to let you sort of watch the process here. And we'll pick it up in a few seconds. So this isn't for the faint of heart because it is time consuming. Um, but in reality, creating a blended piece like this, these always sell so fast for me. People love the bohemian look still to this day and it will never go out of style. The reason I pull the drawers out is so that it doesn't drip down below on the other pieces. That's just FYI. So I'm still on the upper portion of this piece and you can see the blending is really coming along beautifully. Um, pretty soon here, I'm gonna be moving to the lower section, the bottom two drawers and uh, introducing some new color. Let me know what you think so far. Is this something that you would try or is it something that is just not in your wheelhouse? My plan on this piece, and obviously I'm just taking you through the step on how to lay the paint down, is I'm going to add a transfer to the front of this and uh, do some aging to it to give it some character. Probably we'll add some hints of a metallic as well. So here I'm putting the blue on the bottom drawer on that second section, the lower section. And I'll move you down to that section in just a moment, but I'm still finessing and finagling the blend on this third drawer. 
I want to make sure that the blend is how I envision it. And so I just keep adding a little bit more of the yellow, of the red, of the blue, until the blend on this one drawer, which is what I call the transition drawer, um, is where I want it to be so that it all looks seamless when it's all done. So as you can see here, a little more yellow, just to sort of give it a highlight in the center of that drawer. But I really love how the red is showing up on that right side, and I don't want to mess with that. These are the details on the side, and um, I just kind of do light brushing over that to add the colors to it as I go along. And now I'm going to introduce the color Basil which is my fourth and final color for this piece. Well, technically my fifth and final color, but if you count the white linen, uh, the farmhouse linen base coat. So I'm just working this in like I did with the other colors, working it into the blue so that there's almost a seamless transition. I don't want to muddy it up. I want the color to stay true. And I'm just going to lay this paint down over the entire bottom drawer as well as the bottom frame of the dresser. Getting 100% coverage. And there I took a little bit of that yellow and it's kind of hard to see here and I apologize, but I took a little bit of that yellow and mixed it in with the green on the very bottom to sort of highlight the bottom and blend it up. And it's just a matter of blending it all together again, guys. And I did the same repeat pattern on both sides of this piece after adding a raised stencil. And by the way, if you do raise stencils, I highly recommend the embossing medium from Paint Couture. It is so easy to use when you're doing a stencil. It cleans off the stencils perfectly. It dries super hard, and um, it's, it's my favorite texture medium as far as uh, they go. So here, again, I'm making sure that I get all of the drawer edges painted and just getting that all blended together. And that's pretty much it.
So you guys, that's pretty much how you create a blended bohemian piece like this using just a few basic colors and some great chalk paint from Paint Couture. As always, I appreciate you tremendously. See you next time.